Two churches in Roth have suffered break-ins in less than a few days. I visited St Andrews, who were broken into during the early hours of Thursday morning. Church member Jill Shelton spoke to me about how the perpetrators broke into the building and what they did to the church. No, the, it was the one of the community groups that use the, 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 the church uh, who came in on Thursday for their session at, at six o'clock and noticed that the window there was broken and the door of the sanctuary had been forced and thought, oh, this isn't what's supposed to be there. So they had the sense to go up to one of our church members who lives a couple of doors away and get my phone number and Justine phoned me and I came down. I phoned Des a message with him and then I came, my husband and I came down to see what was going on. And to say it was upsetting would be to understate the case. It wasn't so much that people broke in for money, which they'd be very unlucky because nobody ever keeps money here. We're, we're churches. We always after money, we don't, we don't keep money here. Uh, and all the organisations that use the church take their, own, take their money home with them. If they collect subs, then they take it home with them. And so they were unlucky, but there was a damage they caused because there's a filing cabinet down there belonging to the dancing school. That had been demolished, they'd taken the front right off it, and the contents were strewn across the floor. They found a cash box out on the, the steps there. It was empty because it kind of doesn't keep money there. But it was a mess, and then we looked around it, and every single door that had a lock on it had been forced. Every door that didn't have a lock had been thrown open and looked at. However, the incident hasn't affected the community spirit in Roth, and Jill highlighted the kindness of the community in helping them get back on their feet. Uh, we immediately, we had an offer of replacement projectors and things from the from one of the scout, the scout group um, contacts there, uh, who was in, actually from Hereford, and brought it down with him when he came to do a, uh, a visit down to the Heath, dropped it off there, and we've got a lovely new projector. It, instantly replaced. Uh, the most messages that we've had have been, well, a bunch of scumbags these are, fancy doing that to a church. Our church members were absolutely horrified. Jill expressed concern for those who felt the need to steal from the church, but said it was about much more than the damages caused and the money lost. Uh, you know, it wasn't so much what was taken, it was the, the feeling of being, how can I say, almost not defiled is all of it, um, somebody who'd been into your, it's like coming into your home. And the same effect that if you, I mean, if you have a burglary in your house and somebody makes a mess and says it's not, it's not what they've done, it's, it's not what they take, because that's things that can be replaced. It's a feeling that, that you're home has been invaded and this is because this is our home because if we're not, we're not at home we're generally down here doing something uh, in the church and our members feel very strongly that you know we know that we should be forgiving if somebody needed money more than we did that's not the point if they'd asked us we could have given them money but not not to break in and cause so much damage 